Nine-Month Novena, Preparing for Holy Christmas Praying with the Servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, Little Daughter of the Divine Will Louisa says, With a Novena of Holy Christmas, at the age of about seventeen, I prepared myself for the Feast of Holy Christmas by practicing various acts of virtue and mortification, and especially by honoring the nine months which Jesus spent in the maternal womb with nine hours of meditation each day, always concerning the mystery of the Incarnation. This nine-month novena will reflect on the nine excesses of love. Each excess will be meditated daily for the duration of one month leading up to Christmas, beginning March 25th, the Feast of the Annunciation. Fiat. The Nine Excesses of Love by the Servant of God, Louisa Picaretta, Little Daughter of the Divine Will. The Nine Excesses of Love in the Incarnation of the Word. Having completed the first excess of love, known as Trinitarian love, and the second excess of love, known as constrained love, and the third excess of love, known as devouring love, and the fourth excess of love, known as operative love, we now move on to the fifth excess of love, known as lonely love, to be prayed from July 25th through August 24th. Fiat the fifth excess of love. And the interior voice continued, My daughter, do not move away from me. Do not leave me alone. My love wants your company. This is another excess of my love, which does not want to be alone. But do you know whose company it wants? That of the creature. See, in the womb of my mamma, all of the creatures are together with me, conceived together with me. I am with them, all love. I want to tell them how much I love them. I want to speak with them to tell them of my joys and sorrows, that I have come into their midst to make them happy and to console them, that I will remain in their midst as a little brother, giving my goods, my kingdom, to each one of them at the cost of my life. I want to give them my kisses and my caresses. I want to amuse myself with them but oh, how many sorrows they give me. Some run away from me. Some play death and force me into silence. Some despise my goods and do not care about my kingdom, returning my kisses and caresses with indifference and obliviousness of me. So they convert my amusement into bitter crying. Oh, how lonely I am, though in the midst of many. Oh, how loneliness weighs upon me. I have no one to whom to say a word, with whom to pour myself out, not even in love. I am always sad and taciturn, because if I speak, 
I am not listened to. Oh, my daughter, I beg you, I implore you, do not leave me alone in so much loneliness. Give me the good of letting me speak by listening to me. Lend your ear to my teachings. I am the master of masters. How many things do I want to teach you? If you listen to me, you will stop my crying and I will amuse myself with you. Don't you want to amuse yourself with me? And as I abandoned myself in him, giving him my compassion in his loneliness, the interior voice continued, Enough, enough. Move on to consider the sixth excess of my love. You have reached the end of the fifth excess of love. Fiat. Yeah.